All right, let's see. Witcher. Uh, Witcher is, um, is the new show on Netflix, which is supposed to be the new Game of Thrones. Um, I, I watched the whole first season. I won't give any, any I'm not going to give any, um, any uh, spo too many spoilers away. Witchers are people who fight monsters. I guess people who are genetically modified so they could fight monsters and they have some magic and so on. Um, you know, it's 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 tolerable and somewhat um, somewhat enjoyable, um, and uh, you know there are parts of it that are quite enjoyable. Overall, I find that there's too much magic, so I think you can only have once you have too many different beings exerting too much different types of magic in too many ways. Then, what are the rules? How does, it, how does it work? How, what is the logic? What can and cannot be done in the next episode? You know, who, who can kill whom and by what powers? It's too, it's too arbitrary. It's too difficult to build a plot. It's very rare, I think, that fantasy works because of that. Because once you give too much power to magic, then the rules are not set. And you have to, and you have to set some, some sense of rules some standards, some criteria. So I find anything that has magic worrisome. And here, there's a bunch of monsters, all kinds of monsters. Why are they these monsters? Where they, you know, it's just, it's just too random and, and uh, I think a little absurd. It's also super deterministic as often things with uh, magic are because there's, uh, there's prophecy and there's destiny and you're gonna meet this person. So just wait until the last episode and you meet. And, um, I mean, there's a certain aspect of the movie that is heroic. There's certain aspects of it that is um, people searching for a purpose. So you've got the two main characters, the witcher and the witch, um, who are both kind of searching for purpose in their life. And in the final episode, they find that purpose because that purpose was predestined to be their purpose. Um, so they, they go out into the world uh, for purpose. So... I think it's, it can be enjoyable. It's got elements of, you know, heroism. Of course, you can't have heroism in an ordinary person. You can't have heroism with somebody without magic and superpowers. So uh, this is like superhero movies a little bit. It lacks the scope, the drama, the power of Game of Thrones. The, 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 um, you know, there's a, there's a sense of a political battle brewing that we'll get more into in seasons two and three and four, I guess. But it lacks that, I don't know, Game of Thrones had a, had a big scope to it. It had big drama. It had larger-than-life characters. Here yeah, there are a few larger-than-life characters, but it just doesn't have the power, the thrill, and, and the, I don't know, the grandeur the Game of Thrones had. Game of Thrones was bigger than life. And elements here that are bigger than life, the elements here of heroism... But I'm not, so I'm not a huge fan, but I, I wouldn't say don't watch it. It's entertaining, but um, not great. And philosophically, a mess because anything that does too much drama, and it's not clear what it's about yet. So we'll know more in terms of the philosophy um, as we move, uh, move forward. Now, somebody mentions Peaky Blinders. I really enjoy Peaky Blinders. I like Peaky Blinders a lot. I've, I've watched... And I think I've talked about it in a previous show. I've watched five or six. I think I've watched all the seasons. It's very, very well made. Uh, you know, if you like gangster movies, and it certainly is a gangster movie, but it's a gangster movie without the hedonism. It's a gangster movie where the gangsters definitely pay a psychological cost for their crimes and a, and a, and a real cost, a cost in lives for their lives. It's, it's a gangster movie that's smart and clever. A series, not a movie. Um, and... Um, interesting and with real interesting characters that have have real psychological depth and, and real psychological complexity but also in it devines interesting politics and an interesting view of you know how how politics shape everything so um anyway uh thanks for reminding me of peaky blinders although i think i have talked about it in the past all right let's see uh, those were the two movie recommendations i wanted to what we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be 
any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. Using the super chat, and I noticed yesterday when I appealed for uh, support for the show, many of you stepped forward and actually uh, supported the show for the first time. So I'll do it again. Maybe we'll get some more today. Um, if you like what you're hearing, if you appreciate what I'm doing, then I appreciate your support. Uh, those of you who don't yet support the show, please take this opportunity. Go to yourrunbookshow.com slash support or go to subscribestar.com, yourrunbookshow and um, and and make a kind of a monthly contribution uh, to keep this uh, to keep this going i'm not sure when the next